everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and no, your eyes aren't deceiving you, we are on reddit.com. So if you guys missed this about four or five days ago, this is a post on r slash Thomas the Plank Engine, which I believe is a subreddit where people post memes that showed up inside dreams that they had. So I want to talk a little bit about Treebound Hound. According to username Don't Never Around, they dreamed this Yu-Gi-Oh card, whose effect forces your opponent to give you a blowjob, was running rampant at their locals. They were running around begging people not to play it in their decks. Now this card has a real world analog in Yujo Friendship, which requires your opponent to agree to a handshake. In fact, the handshake agreement is forced, provided you've got a unity in the graveyard, which some people were using to make a funny FTK combo where they get their hand as nasty as possible, get that card in the graveyard, force a handshake, causing their opponent to scoop before they had to touch their hand. The stakes are a little higher on this one. If this card in your monster zone is sent to the graveyard, your opponent gives you oral sex. The reason we're talking about this is because as written, this effect does not work. See, because this card is a pendulum, instead of going to the graveyard, it will go to your face up extra deck almost every single time it moves. But if dual taining has taught me anything, it's that you people are insatiable and will figure out a way to get oral sex, I guess. And we'll stop at nothing to make a combo work. So today I wanna look at some of the things that you all have proposed as possible solutions as to how to get oral sex. You know, if you guys just like spend even a fraction of this amount of effort trying to make yourself appealing to people, you could get orals. You wouldn't have to engineer a game state. All right, so on YouTube, Icky the Third says, what about Xyz material detaching? So we saw a lot of people in both the Reddit thread, Twitter thread, and YouTube thread say exactly this. Let's try it out. All right, to test these theories out, we're gonna use Metal Foe's True Draco, cause it's cheap. The Metal Foe's cards are all pendulums and we have a ton of them, which means it should be pretty easy to figure out if a pendulum card will go to the graveyard or not. And in any scenario like this one, where the problem is going to be the monster zone portion of the effect, we'll use Sangan. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a pendulum monster and a card that has a graveyard effect, right? But the problem is, if you go into an Xyz monster, this Sangan is no longer considered to be on the field, right? So because that card had to be sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, just like Sangan, then uh, we're just gonna go ahead and detach one. We'll detach the Sangan. And no trigger, no blowjob. Okay, this one I've got two of them because the first one is so funny. A Gemini Pendulum Monster could theoretically have its Gemini Summon negated, causing it to go from the field to the grave, but a Gemini Monster could not have this effect at the time of the negation. Thanks! We don't even have a Gemini Pendulum Monster. They're just yapping. They just typed. Major Crasher says, I suppose you could always send it with Diabell Star, but at that point you're really fishing for head. Let's try that out. So Dia Bellstar can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard. And as you can see, she can be special summoned now by sending any of my pendulums to the graveyard, right? But remember, the card has to go from the monster zone to the graveyard. So if we normal the silvered, and then we intend to send it to the graveyard to pay for the cost of Dia Bellstar, we're going to hit the special summon and look... We are not allowed to pick the silver. Because Dia Bellstar's summoning condition requires you to send a card from your hand or field to the graveyard, and because Pendulum Monsters can't be sent to the graveyard, you gotta pick one of the ones in your hand. So again, regrettably, no blowjob. Okay, this next one, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is where the brain starts embiggening. What if you had both Macro Cosmos and Imperial Iron Wall on the field? Okay, so this is a good question. Macro Cosmos works really weird with Pendulum Monsters. It applies a replacement effect that prevents those monsters from going to the face-up extra deck. Instead, they go to the banished zone. Imperial Iron Wall says cards can't be banished. And they have pulled up a ruling that says Imperial Iron Wall will take priority over Macro. So as a result, the monster will wind up in the graveyard. I have proof this is the case. Oh, okay. Let's, okay, I'll, let's try it out. So first up, let's normal silvered. Let's activate dimensional fissure. Let's flip Imperial Iron Wall. If this silvered goes to the graveyard, we do get the blow job. Here we go. Oh no! 
What if your opponent snatch steals it? Then you fill up all of your other monster zones. Then you MST the snatch steal. The hound would be unable to return to your field and would be sent to the graveyard instead. I think I can do this. We How do we donate a card to our opponent? She ends spy, right? Till the end phase of this turn. Great. All right, here we go. So we scale silvered. That's a one and an eight. We can PS one here. Normal summon Bismagoo. We're gonna Sheen spy our opponent, our Melcaster. And of course, it will have to return in our main monster zone. So let's try it out. Here we go. And end phase. Resolve Sheen spy. What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing works. Chad, I don't think we're gonna get a blowjob. Okay, this is our last ditch effort. This comes from Aqua Strider. It says, I found the method. GB Hunter on field. You guys familiar with GB Hunter? GB Hunter says, cards on the field cannot be returned to the deck. There's no way that also means the face up extra deck, right? So theoretically, if I pop this Bisma gear, it should go to the graveyard, right? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Why the hell does it work like that? Why does it work? And it triggers. Oh my god! Why does it work like that? Oh my god. Hold up, let me let me let me grab a let me grab one. It did say in the monster zone, so let me make sure that that holds if it's in the monster zone. Volflame target the silvered in the monster zone. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes. Oh my god. Why does why does it work like that? I, I can't believe it. Cards on the field cannot be returned to the deck apparently means if the innate quality of pendulums that places them in the face-up extra deck would trigger, instead they go to the graveyard. I don't understand why people say this game is hard. This is a completely comprehensible effect. All I gotta say is congratulations to Mera DM for <laughs> breaking the blowjob monster. We have one more that I think is also promising, but unfortunately can't be tested. Theoretically, there's a way. If you can engineer a game state where the existence of the pendulum monster on the field or in the extra causes an illegal infinite loop, you can call a judge, and if the judge determines the monster is the problem, it will be sent to the graveyard by rule circumventing the pend replacement effect. This can be written, but I don't think it can be physically done. Uh, because we don't know the mental state of the judge that we would be calling, we probably can't test this one. But keep in mind, we would have to engineer a scenario where this card is the problem and not like pole position. I leave it up to you, dual tainers. Figure it out on your own time.